Yo guys, welcome to a new series I'll be doing alongside the others, which is going to be analysing some of your games. Uh, if you want to send some in, I'll put the link in the description. And yeah, let's have a look at the first one. So this was sent to me by Dude on the Forums. And yeah, I said I wanted to do this before when I did my guide videos and I kind of just forgot about it, but then... Uh, this guy reminded me, so yeah, I'm quite excited to do this actually. Alright, so we've got the game description here. Um, okay, I attached my game, I tried Korean tradition, working my way to Immortal, where so far I only won as Askia. Focused on wonders and barely managed to get a religion with beauty, but then had limited space for cities and got squeezed between Rome and Germany. Okay. Uh, yeah, that sounds like something that could easily happen. Alright, so we've got the initial one. Let's take a little look at this. Yeah, so this is actually turn one rather than initial. But... I assume you settled in place, or at least you were one tile away and moved here, which makes sense to me. Um, yeah, we're Korea, so we don't really need coast or not. Like, coast is still kind of useful though, and it's only one coastal tile, so you haven't made yourself too vulnerable to the coast by doing this. Probably... Yeah, I don't know where else you would have really moved as well. That seems fine to me, especially with the information you had. And the good thing is that if you settle in place, you kind of know you're not settling on top of something. I'm pretty sure that's like guaranteed that you won't be on top. So went for Monument first and you started researching the wheel. Yeah, so looking around what we can see, uh, we got Dai as our resource. There's not really any pantheons that really jump out to me. Um, you've got Renewal, there's a decent amount of forest and stuff around. It's not really enough to get you a religion though. Like, on its own. Um, I mean, if anyone watched the Portugal, the Poland game even, even with Renewal and uh, Mount Kalish that was nearby, it was like very close between some people actually getting religions who tried that. Um, like it still took like until like turn, you know, late 80s or 90 to actually get the religion, which is not for sure. Um, so yeah, if you want to get a religion, the only way you're going to do it here is by going for Stonehenge and then Tradition into Goddess of Beauty, which it seems like is what you're going for. Okay, work in the food, that's probably correct, and then work this uh, when your city grows, or this if the border grows as well. Plan of Korea, so we did a series on this recently, we got plus one science from specialists, plus 30% Great people during golden ages, plus 50 golden age points when a great person is born, scaling with era. The Hawacha, which is pretty crazy actually, it gets logistics uh, given to it. And this one doesn't have the normal siege bonus that uh, siege weapons have, but when you upgrade it to a cannon, you'll get the siege bonus back. And then uh, this one here. And you will lose, you will keep the logistics as well. I think it doesn't have this actually. The what is it, Hawacha? Yeah, so it's really good at killing units, but not so good at killing cities. But they're amazing, obviously, for being upgraded into cannons, but just much better ones because they have logistics. And it also means that you can actually. Oh, okay, we don't have the same UI here. Yeah, so you can actually go down the siege 
uh, promotion path with the siege weapons and go into range down there since you don't need logistics so you don't have to go field um Uh, and one last thing is the say one thing which is a replacement university more stuff from great works yeah and just extra science really and it comes a bit earlier you don't have to actually go up into um education to get them you get them at philosophy so yeah it is really a tradition sieve i mean with all the bonuses it has i feel like you could probably play it uh quite well as authority as well just because logistics siege weapons are like so useful and yeah we've got this mod that i had to install to get it to run i don't think it really changes anything it's just ui let's have a little look around though see what we see here And some other things, yeah, this is a mortal standard standard speed. Uh the Communa 2 79A map. Yep. I'm not sure if I ever played a game on YouTube with that one, but I have used it before. I just want to see if there's anything like interesting to see quite a lot of jungle actually okay I haven't actually met any neighbors yet which is quite unusual so it seems like you actually have a decent amount of space Okay, and Old Faithful over here, which is plus six science, plus two culture in every era as well, it increases by. So not a bad one there. Yeah, I mean, this is interesting land. I guess tradition is probably the most obvious one. Obviously, just with being Korea, this isn't really amazing authority land either. Uh, we got the dyes, which what does a plantation give on dyes? One gold and two culture is actually not bad, you know. So yeah, I think uh, you could either go tradition or just authority here. It's not amazing tradition land because of all the jungle and stuff around, like. Mm, I guess it doesn't really matter, honestly. But like, you'll end up just having to cut it down normally to put down great person improvements. And I would definitely try and get a city over here and get this as well. You've even got some ivory. So you could make elephants. So that would probably make me think about going authority. But yeah, we know from the thing that you went tradition and beauty, which makes sense as well. So let's see how that went. Okay. So. Currently at war with Rome, who actually was quite close. Wow, we must have been so close to seeing them before. Okay. And also China, who are over here. I'm not sure why we're at war with them, but AIs are quite weird sometimes, aren't they? Um, okay, so you went up for education, I assume for this. And then came back down for masonry. Went for religion. When you enter a new era, Holy City gains 20 of each yield. 
Yeah, that's I've actually come to start quite liking that one, so That's probably I assume you probably got one of the last religions and that is one of the better ones that are still left. So like I guess normally you'd go for the golden age one, but if you had the choice of all of them, but that normally gets taken, doesn't it? So and yeah, Goddess of Beauty and Synagogues as well. I'm not sure about synagogues, but I suppose orders had already gone. Potentially. I mean, orders and mastery is normally what I'd look at. Synagogues actually aren't bad though, so. Yeah, they give plus three production. We love the King Day plus 10% science. And. Plus two faith as well. We'll find stuff. Most of our cities have been converted to Protestantism though. Which looks like Germany's religion. Okay. And it's the food one. Hmm. For wonders, we went for Stonehenge, Hanging Gardens and Temple of Artemis. Mm, I mean, it's good that you did got hang gardens for sure. A super useful is tradition. I'm not sure about this temple of Artemis though. I guess like you would have wanted the herbalist anyway, so that was probably what you were thinking there. And obviously, plus ten percent food is quite good. It's basically giving plus three food here. I feel like it's not a necessary one to get though, like, you know, you have beauty so you want to be getting the wonders to get the plus two faith from world wonders, but realistically you probably missed out on settling the city here and maybe here because you went for Temple of Artemis, I'm going to guess, because I doubt Germany came straight over here. So, if you'd put a city here and got a shrine, that would also have been plus two faith. So, I don't think it would have meant your religion would be any slower. But you'd have another city or two, because really, you do want five or six cities, if you possibly can. Just to make your life a little bit easier, and you're kind of stuck with four here. Like... Unless we're going to go and conquer Germany, we're not really going to get any more cities. Or Rome, but obviously he's going to have loads of troops. And you don't want to really have to waste your resources doing that. And you could have had uh, Old Faithful as well if you'd put a city like here. Um, I like this city here though, it's got the one coast thing. I'm guessing you watched my lovely guide on city placement. But yeah, this is a good place to put it. Is it on a hill as well? No, but yeah, that's fine not being on a hill. Yeah, this one's fine. You really want this one on a hill, but I guess you didn't have much choice. I mean, it's okay, it's very close to Rome, so it's always going to be vulnerable. And yeah, you would love to have it on a hill, but there's not really a good place. Um, maybe you could have put this one somewhere a little bit different and then add one like here or here. But I mean, there's some okay places to put like archers and stuff. It's just going to be a bit annoying if they put a cannon up there. Um, in terms of your cities, you seem to have actually built pretty much the right stuff. The herbalists maybe were not necessary in all cities. You could have just chosen like a couple that were actually going to work all the plantations. But nah, you probably do need them everywhere I guess. There's plantations all over the place. 
Um, usually when I play Tradition, I put my Great Person improvements actually on the resources. Like, particularly like plantation ones and stuff like that. Like, you would still have the Monopoly from plus three gold. You would lose the two culture, but I think right now you're struggling a lot to actually work all of these uh, specialist slots because you've got the great person improvements, then the resources, and then these that you're trying to work. Whereas usually you combine the great person and the resources, and then you can work more specialists easier. Um, like stuff like bananas. Like I guess normally I put I work I put these in places that I can work them with other cities, and then these around my capital because you want mad production in the capital. But I do like yeah I think you've built all the correct buildings really like you probably went shrines first and then monuments and then um. Yeah, Herbalist Council Library. Uh, that's pretty much correct, I think. And obviously you've got the walls here as well. Also correct. So, I like that. Yeah, I just think you greeted a bit with the, the Temple of Artemis and probably could have got a city out here instead. Because I'm guessing, yeah, we're struggling to meet the requirements for some of these, so... Need 35 for this. Um, and this one, and it's probably going to be a little while before we even get to it with these cities. We don't have so many units, but that's just quite normal at this point, I think. Like, you don't want to make units unless you actually need them. I uh, don't know if two composite bowmen and one spearman is going to be enough. It kind of depends with the AIs, doesn't it? Because if they come with everything, it would be annoying, but they usually don't, so you can usually get away with it. We're on 18 tech, same as Rome, but China's up on 25. Alright, we don't have any city-state, even friends or alliances, which makes me think that you have not really been giving any attention to them. Like, normally there's at least some mission that you could do to at least get a friendship. Um, and there is this nice little question here, two markets. For 150 production... I mean, you want to build University of Sankor, that's going to be a third of it right there. This mission for declaring war in Germany is quite a nice one, but probably not best right now. But something to consider, and they want that Barb Camp killed. Okay, we're not too far away from uh, enhancing. Normally I would have just bought this straight away, but now you've waited so long, probably might as well wait to enhance. Uh, I'm not sure about this. Like, I'm sure these guys are tradition and way ahead on tech, so I'm sure they have the tech. They actually might not actually having said that it's actually possible that they don't all right like it seems like maybe no one has physics but only you have education and that's why it's reduced a little bit China seven ahead, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus one, plus one, seven. Yeah, it's possible they don't have that. Alright, well, 
yeah, you might as well go for it then, actually. It's a little bit hard to know because I wasn't here when people entered Medieval. Can't see it being built in any of these cities. We can't see China's capital, unfortunately. Yeah, I think you may as well go for it. And I would try and get this uh, market quest done to help it along. You've also got some declarations of friendship, and I feel like we might as well sell some resources. Resources are worth so much in this patch. It's like pretty crazy. Yeah, we don't really want to give them to Germany anyway. Um, yeah, so you just want maximum gold so that you can potentially buy this and some other things. We can't buy another unit, unfortunately. Okay, I'll let all these buildings finish and then I would try and get uh, the last two markets, which will be here and here. I would definitely swap around some of these tiles, so um, it seems like you just got a great scientist. So I would switch to full culture, honestly, over science. We got through tradition, but we do want to start getting into the next policy trees. Um, it's just something to think about with, like, where are you trying to get to in the game? So, if we go science now, like, what are we hoping to get to? I mean, like, there is physics. Would be good to get some of these for defense, if nothing else. And castles as well. But, like, other than that, I don't really see what else is that useful. Like, there are some nice wonders, but if you go science, you will not have the policies to get them anyway. Like, there's useful stuff later on, for sure. But the thing is, you, can, you can't really catch up with culture, like, if you don't have good culture throughout the whole game. But you can catch up on science, like... China will be in Renaissance surprisingly soon, and you'll get your first buy, and then you'll start getting free techs. That will help you keep up in science, but if you don't have culture, you'll never catch up. So I would choose culture over science at this point. I would want to work both, honestly, but like I said, with the uh, great person improvements and the resources as well, you've kind of overburdened your capital here and we do want to work with the production here while we're building this wonder i probably wouldn't work this food actually i would just do a load of internal trade routes because i don't think five food like you're trying to grow your city so you can work something else but you might as well just work the other thing anyway and you already have hang gardens as well giving food uh, definitely we want to get some more good tiles in this city so we can do some swapping around here for sure I think I'm gonna give up these two We'll do it like that for now, and then I would probably put... Well, we could actually go for a merchant, right? That three production seems to make a huge difference.
Alright, whatever. Yeah, we'll do that. And these ones can be worked by here. Because I would also like to be working this library if I could. Maybe we'll even give this one over as well. Yes, I think I would do this. Not bother with that. Um, yes, and then you can have this and this. Because otherwise the city is just working food in it. Alright, so something like that. Maybe I would feel more comfortable if I had one more combo, but... I mean, it would have to be here if I was going to build it. I could just get this done and then build it, and then go for this, but it's a bit risky, in it? Um... I think that's pretty much it. I mean, you've been buying buildings, which is good. Everything is invested in. Alright. Yeah, we'll sell as much as we can. I guess we'll play out a couple of turns here. See how the game goes. Yeah, I don't think we can put any more cities, so we'll have to stick with four. Just try and defend against Rome. We can actually have some combos in decent positions here. And we are tradition, so we have the extra city strength and city combat strength, which is very nice. Scout is about for defense as well. Okay. That probably isn't a good idea. Let's just chill around here. I would say if this was deity, I wouldn't have probably bothered going for education just because you never would have got uh, this with like two snowballing uh, tradition people. I mean, unless they really haven't gone for the tech which looks like it possibly is the case. Um, but yeah, because you actually didn't need to go education for universities because of this. But it looks like we could get it in this game, so it obviously is a really good wonder if you can get it. What's going on here? Why, why, why are we chopping this? I don't understand that. Uh, let's not do that. We've got four workers as well, which is actually a good amount. Okay, I'm just going to do that. We're about to get more iron here as well, right? Alright, that's pretty good. Okay then, we won't work this. 
we will work this instead. Cool. Sell the iron, of course. You. Okay. Probably don't want to sell stuff to Germany. Can we get out of this war? Maybe someone paid uh, China in. That kind of seems like what could be happening. What is this dude doing? Being super annoying. Um Fuck okay, it, I'm just gonna buy a horseman. I wanna I would like to make sure we get this and this guy can run around cleaning up units and shit. Normally I do greed and like make sure I always um have barracks and stuff, but fuck it man. Okay, I'm not sure what all these little squares mean. I'd actually like to build some villages. Um, other than that, I need a plantation there, a pasture there. And it would be good to get some lumber mills as well. Just chill, no need to unnecessarily like draw them in. Okay, we're not going to be able to shoot over this. But here is a good place to be. Alright, what are we going to build next then? Like I said, I want to get these two markets. We're going to have to wait for this one anyway though. So I guess we'll go for this. Do not wait to strike till the iron is hot, but make it hot by striking. Who? Cool. This guy is uh, worrying me. Just chill there. That guy can't shoot anyway. Alright. Um, this guy would be able to get in here. Alright, yeah, this area is a little bit weird, but we can get the horse up there if we need. Alright, what do we build here then? I guess the flipping herbalist. Um, I would like another trade route as well. Get another caravan. This would be good also, though. 
yeah all right we'll go for this because it will give us the lumber mills and we've got two manufactories could help us get that a little bit earlier I mean, actually, the best way to get him not captured is to do this. Because you can't capture civilians in the water. Okay, they actually did come over here. Try going there. Unfortunately, we don't get any bonuses for killing units, which makes it a little bit useless. Alright, so we want the market as well. We'll try and get them in both these cities to help with getting this. I honestly think they might not have the tech though. It seems like they're going for all the other techs, but not this one. So, maybe there's no need to worry. Okay, they added a reformation belief. That is quite relevant, because... Oh, well, it's a rubbish one. I guess we still get the plus one faith and to culture from defensive buildings um, okay seems all right then I don't really know what to do with these guys uh, for the moment. We're close to having this, so I guess we'll just get ready to build them. Okay. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't get one of the Reformation beliefs like by universities or amphitheaters. Maybe they already went. That one has already gone. Ah, oh, that is a shame. Norm normally they uh, would go for the other one, so we would have been able to buy these with faith. But not this time. Yes, we can go there. And Rome isn't actually doing too much, which is nice. That's unusual though, I mean surely they declared, so I would have expected them to just rush in pretty quickly. Alright, we start working that here. Um, I'm going to get a lighthouse because um, actually this does buff the dyes, doesn't it? So this will be plus four culture, plus two gold. We want this as well. I think I'll go for this. Sell some more stuff, of course. We'll keep trying to save it insta gold. Is 
Selamlar. Okay. Dude, what is this? would be very annoying if they did that. Oh, now they come this way. Germany's annoyed and he's built Colossus. That's nice for him. just have to kind of allow that because we can't really deal with it right now. Alright, we've got a new citizen here. Wait, this isn't on a hill, is it? Go like that then. Okay, let's get currency next. Well, no, I actually might get engineering. Okay, a couple of turns away from enhancement. And we actually might not get this in time for this. But yeah, I don't think they went for the tech, which is very, very strange. Okay, um Doing squares, which is annoying. Cool. All right, we'll try and get this next. probably gonna buy this and also get this mission but whatever we'll put it into the next thing that we build um, right, I'll buy this now and this too
Sen ben o. Yo. Inka runa kunaka wakai ching mi kai maki puraita. sucks um can't do shit about it though to be honest I choose production um I can put the overflow straight into this next turn if I want, or I could start building one here. Perhaps that's a better way of doing it. A bit more immediate. Okay, we should work that. Super annoying. Um, let's buy this. But we did get the University of Sankor. Super nice there. 50 science. Whenever you expend a great person. Um, we can just get straight into our next building here. Get it done straight away. I don't think we'll lose any overflow there. Uh, might start working this instead though. Tempted to kill this guy. Well, I can kill him too, maybe. That would kind of be ideal. Yes. Okay, we can be maybe a little bit cheeky here. Try and sell every bit of iron. For insta gold, because I believe if they pillage it, the deals will be cancelled. Got to use that stuff, man. Um, and then we can sell it again once we replace it. I think. Maybe we'll just go negative, which would suck a bit. Uh, next thing here shall be this, I suppose. Yep, go on. Probably are going to need to repair. Okay. Let's go there. All right. Um, 
Let's have currency next. I would like a trade route. Okay, kind of a useless follow belief. Cool. And we'll get to enhance our religion as well. And they will peace out at some point. Okay, let's enhance this. Better is bread with a happy ah, nice. Than wealth with vexing. Yeah, we get the bonus from University of Sankor. So for enhancer, I would definitely go mastery. I guess seems like it makes the most sense. You don't need moth because you already got one. Hmm, pagodas. Honestly, a little bit interesting. Apparently there's actually not that many religions floating around, though it does seem like there's quite a few. I think it really depends because there's really two options of either going fealty or artistry. I think this one makes the most sense, honestly. Mandis is decent too though. And then here you are choosing between this one and this one. Now obviously the policy requirement reduction is super useful for getting wonders and more great profits is quite nice as well and you get plus three culture, tourism and faith from holy sites. And you could use the profits to try and get a reformation belief, which I believe is definitely something you'd want to prioritize in this game. It's going to be difficult, but be super worth it if you can actually get one. But I think actually that the better way of getting one would be to go for symbolism because of the missionaries of this religion er erode existing pressure. And then, uh, yeah, get that and go with fealty and then try and use the missionaries to get to reformation belief. So this is what I would personally go for. And obviously we'll get the plus two to all great person points, which is nice as well. Um, okay, we've had some growth. And we're already quite unhappy here. Okay, we will work the farm then a bit. Let's try that. Um, Should get a forward chair as well. And I guess I'll go for chivalry next. We can get stables, castles. That'll be good. Because my plan would be to go fealty in this game. Um, you are going to need a lot of faith 
like uh, missionaries and stuff if you want to get a reformation belief and like i said reformation beliefs are super good you would either want um this one or this one both of them very useful And I would just point out, so, no, actually, we'll do this at the end. Let's get through this with him more. Alhambra for him, okay. Wow, they did not even pillage the iron. That seems a bit crazy to me. Okay, we should start getting these. Surprised that's not a kill. I'm surprised we've ended up with unhappiness here. We don't even have urbanization. Um Keep buying everything. Oh, I actually really meant to buy that tile as well. I completely forgot to do that. But <laughs> luckily we grew to it anyway. That was bad though. Definitely should buy this tile so that uh, Rome didn't get it. Because they could like great general that or something. It would be pretty disastrous. Okay, I think I might stop working this because we really need to get to that population requirement. I mean, we're unhappy, but still, we got to keep growing two more citizens. Okay, we'll keep that one. All right, fine. We'll get the citizen here and install then. Let's do that. Could also buy a resource. They ain't really that much, are they? Alright. Should do that. Ooh, is that Chinese missionary. Okay, neither of us have civil service, but when they do, I would definitely give her open borders so that she could uh, convert us and then we would be able to build orders. Okay, let's get that here. I think I would start with this as well. Maybe the amphitheater, you know. Get one there as well, and one here. Cool. Could try and get that camp. Are we anywhere near this? No, not really. 
I assume Rome will be that soon if they're not bothering. Uh, we'll refuse that for the moment. One thing, um, this is a good timing to be at war with Rome because they don't have their legionaries still. So if we could get a peace treaty uh, when they had legionaries, that would be ideal. Try and keep an eye on them to see when they get civil service. I should get a granary here as well, actually. Missionaries coming. Get our great merchant next turn. And we ain't far off fealty as well. So since we're going fealty, we might as well get the writer's guild soon. Okay, nice. Um I suppose this should go up here because we don't have that many good things to work in Daegu. No need to put everything around your capital, I normally only put these two. Twenty-seven, twenty... I assume we can be that at any point, so I'm just going to wait until the last moment, really. Okay, we need a lot of things here. I suppose this will be the first one. Have that next. Um, theology isn't really useful at all. I guess workshops are quite useful. I'd like to come down to chemistry, but it's a bit pointless until we have those texts anyway. Alright, let's go up there. Ooh. Ah, and actually we'll wait and go fealty and get it a bit cheaper. Okay, definitely want to get that as well before we peace out. You're going up there. Let's get that next. Uh, need a stable here for sure. Big time need a stable there.
Ima na jaka shikangi. Sain bano. Yom tablach. Enta mart. Bish. Not really gonna want many horses this game. A lot of units, man. Alright, you can be a knight now. Ooh. Okay, John Jew to Soul, and we got a granary here, right? Get one here as well, and I'll send it from Daegu. And we actually have enough. I think fealty is the one. Obviously, archery is history is nice. I mean, it's not that good. Like, obviously, it does fit with the great people stuff, but it's just not that good generally. Or is this one's going to be pretty nice, I think. You can go straight for that. Next turn, we will hit the population requirements. Um, we have the merchant now, so... I think next we'll get the scientist. 19 turns, not bad. Uh, no. That's literally like <laughs> all the money he gave to us. Uh, yeah, whatever. I don't even know where they are. May God forbid the deed. Very nice. Okay. Village is pretty good, man. No open borders yet. Okay, I'm not going to bother going for that because I bet it goes like very soon. I'm going to start with this one. And like I said, I'm going to wait till the last possible moment. These trade routes are actually alright, but I just don't think it's a good idea. I think food is more important. Spearman actually holding his own against the knight. That's not something you see every day. Okay, this goes back to Seoul. I need all these flipping things.
Би мөгөмөр зан бай гаргадаггүй. Okay, I'm up there. I'm guessing this will be over soon. Could get another building. Monastery. Nice. Inca Runakunaka, Wakai Ching Mikai Maki Puraita. Be Mugumur Tank Bank Kark to Quick. Ugui. another trade route. Well, I should be able to get to it some way. Should get this here as well. Um, Yeah, let's go with that. I kind of ignored my own advice, didn't I? I should have put the town thing here. On top of the dice. Be Mugumur Tank Bank Kark to Quick. Be no reason to peace out right now, so I won't.
Okay, this could definitely be a reason. Um, we got a new construction project caravanisseries. Okay, still will. That's pretty good. And they got knights as well. Which is another good reason to peace out. So we want to put these in here. Good stuff. Alright, we'll start off with this, I guess. And next I would go for steel can get more monasteries and also give them open borders. I would probably think about having a rearrange here again. I could just do that I guess. Need one more uh, trader as well. And let's try and finish off this guy as well. He's annoying me. No, I don't think so. think so either. next I still need this here University of Sankor is so good actually. Okay, I really want this now. Probably put it off for a bit too long. Okay, we'll somewhat head towards that, or maybe we'll go compass and get another trade route. Well, we'll head into guilds, I guess. I'd be shocked if somebody else isn't already building that, but it would be a great wonder to get.
But we do need the next policy anyway, so... Alright, let's try that. Do you want maximum culture? And I should get these as well. Maybe I don't even need to buy them. Okay, the lighthouse gives bonus food to the trade route, even though it's a land one. Quite nice. Alright, that's all of those. I mean, is there any point letting them convert us? Don't think so. And buy universities and stuff, but we already built them all, didn't we? Apart from this one. And so you can use a reformation belief if it's your majority. But even if it's not your belief. Or just if it's your belief, you can always use it. All right, now they run away. See what there is to see over there. Someone wanted a great engineer, right? But they ain't really giving anything for it anyway. Well, actually, okay. Okay. So if we get the great engineer and the scriveners that would actually be enough for an alliance Okay, one more food one. That seems like the most useful thing, honestly. I don't know, I should work in this. Get this guy ready to go in here once we get our great engineer. Keep getting these. Um, that's fine. Well, we do have a mission for this, so we will try and do it actually. 
you know what, I will definitely try and do it. And potentially we can use it to build this. That would be an amazing one to get. I would be surprised if we did though. The merchants and the okay. going to go up, well, <laughs> actually a little bit interesting, we could try and go into printing press first, because then we would become the founder and we could actually propose stuff, I don't know what we would propose that would be that useful though, so... Golden aging, super knife. It's a lot of culture right now. Then, all right. Um, yeah, we'll try and get this. that quickly and three turns there four turns there Let's get that done I'd like to buy this as well which hopefully we can so now might be a good time to start at least converting our own cities Still hoping for uh, China to come along and give us those orders though. Alright, where is this guy going? Um, normally I like to put it on a square which can be shared by two cities. I think we should put it somewhere around this city. I could put it over the top of one of these dies or in here. We will be actually be able to work universities decently because we'll go rationalism with the logging camps. Alright, do you know what? We, we won't put it over the top of something. We'll, we'll put it here. Because since we only have four cities, we actually do want them to be quite big, so work a lot of squares each. get that next. Um, I need a forge here so I can get the workshop. We honestly might as well go for this next. 
because we don't have enough policies for to get leaning tower anyway. Doesn't actually, yeah, no one's actually in Renaissance yet as well. Fuck off, fiddle. Okay, they finally got there. Which tech did they go through though? None of them, they just finished off all of these. Well. We better put it in China or else we won't really get anything. You don't want to put it in someone with statecraft as well. Because they have extra spy defense. Go on, we'll put this here. I never even built this. Also, you should get a castle. Right, let's get that next. Okay, it's going pretty well over here. And we should be able to finish this off. We'll put it down to 600. We'll be on 450. Uh, not gonna quite be enough. I do not believe. Be Mugumurzang Bank Karakuki. Ah, oh, the population grew. Fuck. I'll be so mad if I lose it now. I could have bought it. <laughs> but I didn't want to waste the money in case it got taken next turn. Fuck. Right, let's get that next. She won't give them that. Try and be nice though. Thank God for that. We did not get to be into this. That is actually a really good wonder to get. The law is a fortress on a hill that armies cannot take or floods wash away. So yeah, minus five percent. Uh, 
global population required for reformation belief and the free order as well that is pretty amazing so I guess we'll stop after this um, Yeah, that actually means it's way more possible for us to get the Reformation belief without spending like infinite faith on it. Okay, another writer. It is a newspaper's book, the most precious thing. And we're into Renaissance. Lovely. Still need two more policies for Leaning Tower. Bikul Rabiu fi qalam, thena shway lakh biqarab. Tiqabele, eh? Thena khsar. Inka runaku naka. Bi mugumur zang bain karak tukwi. Defensive Pact with Mongolia. And I would actually take that. Why are they being so nice? Alright, and there we are. So, we got this engineer as well. Now we can go and get that um, alliance also. So I'll stop here. Um, this has turned into a bit of a snowball, honestly. I mean, I guess um, this wonder is just so flipping good. But um, yeah, like I feel like this would be quite an easy win. I would definitely want to build some more units right now. Uh, just to make sure we're actually safe, like, especially now that we have armory and order in the capital, we can get decent units built. I would get a couple of long swordsmen while we still can, and then probably just loads of these. And you could even go and probably attack someone, at least, like, if the opportunity arose. I wouldn't really waste time doing it other than that. Um, somehow a host of this, I don't really know what would be best to propose here. There probably isn't anything that useful, realistically. Um, but oh well. Yeah, I'll, you can have this save file if you want to play this or play it back yourself, but um, I guess main stuff to consider is city-state quests, because like I said, it seemed like you hadn't really been paying attention to them, and they obviously helped us get the wonders. Um, I think you've got to be more like proactive about getting your cities out early on. I really don't think it was a good idea to let this place go to waste. You could have had a city like here or up on these hills to like control this area but I don't mind where you actually did put your cities and probably it is good to have this one up here because otherwise Rome would have come and stuck a city here and that would have been annoying so this keeps them like quite far away from your capital so we can have all these tiles over here uh, free to work apart from this city I would definitely want to kill this city actually with the Busans, the no, the Huachas and the and some long swordsmen. Um, you can also start converting 
like use the inquisitors get the uh, synagogues and then you could start probably sending missionaries up to like some of these city states and Rome and thanks to the enhancer belief they will actually eventually get you to reformation belief should be super good general thing though with this playstyle what you're kind of hoping to get to eventually is um, you want to get through rationalism basically that's like the true power of like a tradition strat like this is that once you get so many academies up um, and then you can start faith purchasing great scientists once you finish rationalism as well as some of the ideology policies you get crazy science at the end and you use them to like you know push your way through into some of the important texts you kind of want to leave it as late as you can to use them because they work by taking the science in your last like um three turns i think but then it's buffed by percentage by how many of these you have so towards the end it gets really crazy so like you just want to kind of wait as long as you can and then start uh, buying and you know producing great scientists and using them for the insta yield to get you through to the end so that's why i said that really culture is your main focus right now like the science is decent but the culture is what's going to allow you to actually build the wonders because even with this culture we're still behind so like if you go science you just end up way behind on policies and you can't catch up like i said though we kind of ended up snowballing here because we did get this and this which are really good so probably will be able to keep up on science for the rest of the game but even if you are behind you can use spies so it's not as big a deal um yeah there's some other stuff like you want to use the world fair at the right moment because you get the free policy and the f and the percentage of culture increase you kind of want to use that as late as possible as well but just when you need those extra policies to start getting you towards the victory i feel like to be honest i did quite a good job of that stuff in the career game that i played so if you want to see an example then check that one out because a lot of the late game stuff is quite important and you don't get to play it that often so it's easy to like miss a lot of stuff like that but generally you know I think you did a good job I can see why like yeah you seem like you're probably roughly immortal playing right now you know it was a bit dicey with the not enough units and I think focusing on the expansions should definitely be something to consider a lot of these wonders are not really that good and the fact that they kind of end up meaning you miss out on a city or two is quite a big deal like it's going to take us forever probably to get like oh actually no this has been nerfed a bit so it doesn't take too much but uh, maybe i'm changed shit actually maybe this is fine i definitely would have wanted a city over here though because we won't be able to have any more internal trade routes as well um other than that I can't complain too much though man I cannot complain too much just city states and try not to be greedy at the start and then I don't really know how good you are at late game stuff but like I said it's definitely super useful and you just gotta be thinking about where you're trying to get with the game which is usually culture over science to be honest unless there's a specific tech that you really want
But I hope that helped, and like I said, anyone else who wants some analysis, then feel free to send your games in to the link below. And I'll see you next time, guys.